Hello friends. Today we're going to make a sweatshirt, a little Valentine's sweatshirt. And uh, these designs are from, uh, uh, it's called Hello Valentine. It's got four different designs on it. Uh, so I'm going to uh, cut it. Um, you can just uh, score it and pull off the transfer and keep it all as one. But I like to cut them into separate ones so I can use whatever one I want. So, uh, sorry for doing it off the screen there, but I'm just using a pair of scissors and cutting it off. Uh, so those are the two I'm not using. Um, one says, I love you. One says, be mine. They're very, very cute. Uh, and I really like the one. It just says love. That's the one I'm going to use. and has an arrow through it, but it looks like kind of a, it has like a flower design in the letters. It looks really, really cute. I'm going to uh, take out my uh, ink mat, uh, remove my heat pad. So I'm taking the sticker off of my shirt. It does say XL, but uh, uh, those are the shirts that sell out first. Everybody wants to be little, but I can just be me. And these are actually oversized a little bit, and I really like it. Um, they're nice and fuzzy, uh, and I love that color. It's kind of a mauve or a bluish, and you can see that uh, it has pockets and it has a v-neck. Two of my favorite things. So uh, I like v-necks for some reason. Uh, I just feel like it's choking me, these round necks and some of them turtlenecks. Uh, I like a mock turtleneck, but not a regular turtleneck. Uh, turtle, turtle, those big ones. I uh, feel like I'm being choked, so I'm going to put that on the ink mat. The ink mat is very sticky, and it's going to um, hold the fabric in place while I uh, put ink on it. helps the design to come out straighter. Uh, it helps me not to warp, because uh, the fabric stretches and moves, and you can warp your the way it looks on your shirt. Uh, so... So I put it on the inside of the shirt, on the side that I'm going to uh, put the design on. Um, and even though I may not have it perfectly straight, that mat is so big it doesn't matter as long as I put my transfer in the right spot. So I'm, I'm just kind of clearing out, making sure there's no wrinkles. Um, there's some, because it's a new shirt, there's still a little fuzz and stuff on it, uh, strings and such. So uh, because it's got that V, I, I know where the middle is. Uh, you can see it from the V or from the, the tag in the middle. So what I do, I'm not going to fuzz the transfer because I'm putting it on material already and I like it better. Uh, so what I do is I fold it in half and I put a little crease in the top. That shows me where the middle is and that crease goes away almost instantly. But it's on, it stays long enough to where I can line up the transfer right in the middle. Uh, because if I can get it crooked, I will get it crooked. So right there in the middle, I've got it lined up. Make sure there's no air bubbles in the transfer or that green part that I have. The clear parts where the... Uh, it's actually not clear it has a mesh there but that's where the ink's gonna go on um, I put that little uh, it's another transfer that I used earlier that uh, so I don't put get ink on the shirt um, it's really easy to get ink on the shirt if the if the design went closer to the edges I would actually take my blue tape and put it on the edges so uh, hey remember to uh, share Share the love, like my VIP, like my page, join my VIP group, uh, you know, send me some hearts, send me some love, uh, send me some requests, uh, so I'm trying to do different things, uh, I usually get stuck on one thing at a time, uh, but that's just who I am, um, check my VIP page, I will be showing you different types of, uh, uh, giving you different opportunities and sales and deals and kits to do so right now I am just taking my paint it's called bright white ink not paint 
it's ink and I am spreading it on the design. I am making sure it's spread out well. Um, I've got enough in there to cover the shirt uh, to make a difference in there, but to where it's not globbed, it's not have any uh, lines or hills or valleys in there. I'm uh, getting a nice clean surface uh, going over it, uh, making sure I get all the edges the tops, the bottoms, and the sides of each little design aspect on there. It's uh, got some real pretty designs in that. It's really hard to see until I pull it off, but you'll see that it, how the like a little flower design has a little heart in there, and and uh, I really think it's pretty. It also has an arrow going through it. Uh, so I'm just cleaning it out, making sure I didn't leave any extra paint on there because I can extra ink on there because I can put it right back in the container and use it next time. Uh, so I have a lot of this coming up. So I'm taking everything I can off of the squeegee. I put the squeegee in my little bowl of water uh, that I keep near me. Uh, and I get my paper towel, make sure there's no ink on my fingers. Uh, because if there is, it will end up on the shirt. Uh, so I'm pulling it off. And I don't pull it corner to corner. I try to pull it side to side. Uh, and I'm holding it down with one arm and pulling it off. Look how cute. It came out so cute. I'm putting it over on the side to dry for a little bit. Uh, while that does that, I am going to clean off the transfer. Uh, it's a smaller one, so it might be easier to clean. Uh, so I have a board eraser, and I have a spray bottle of distilled water. Um, I keep it distilled water in case I need to put water in the in the ink or in the chalk paint. Uh, you don't want to put anything but distilled water in chalk paint. Uh, because it will grow life forms in there that you don't want. So uh, I'm getting as much off. Uh, I need to clean my board eraser a little bit, uh, but enough to, to get that cleaned off. So I've got one side done. You can see it's all off of the uh, the transfer of the ink side, the I'm gonna turn it over, clean the other side for a bit. Uh, I got a different board eraser, a cleaned one, so that I could uh, do that a little better. Cause I didn't have my pan of water to clean it out yet. So this is the back side where the sticky is, and I just wet it and wiped it down. I turned it over and I cleaned off this side again. So I still a little bit white left on there. So I'm going to clean it off, and I'm going to turn it back over and do one more wipe on the, the back side. Um, and it's easier for me. Um, I take the shiny side, take the shiny side to the sticky side, and put it on there. And it's easier for me to put the backer sheet on the transfer than it is to put the transfer on the backer sheet. Whatever works for you, that's easier for me. And now it's ready for to be used again. So now I pull the shirt back up. And I'm going to dry it. i wipe my hands off again, making sure I don't get it all over the shirt. Making sure my heat uh, press is on. I take my heat gun out, and I am going to dry it. Try not to put my heat gun too close to the, uh, too close to the letters or the material. I don't want to set it on fire. I just want to dry it. So, um, and I'm just moving it around and moving it up and down while it's still on the backer sheet. Uh, take a minute to say, you know, like my page, uh, share the love, let everybody know what I'm doing. Uh, and uh, join my VIP group. You'll get deals and stuff coming up. Uh, we're going to do, be doing a live here soon on our house with the home kit. And I'll be sending out some information on that to everyone. So, uh keep looking keep helping keep sharing uh send me some likes send me some hearts send me some uh you know let everybody know share the love 
so uh, I really and if you can look closely at this you can see um, it's got like little uh, flower design in there little uh, lacy looking but it's it's a kind of a floral kind of looking design um, it is so pretty and it's so simple it's not a big thing it just says love so I can wear it all year it's just loved so I like things like that that kind of goes all over so I'm looking at it uh, making sure I got it all done and it it came out really really cute uh, so I can't wait to wear it I made a bunch at one time and that's the hard part uh, can't wear them all at once <laughs> so I have to pace myself sometimes uh, so looking at it's about done and what I will do after it's done I'm gonna I'm gonna take it off of the backer sheet you don't want to heat press it while it's on there you'll kind of glue it to the backer sheet so we don't want to do that um, it's actually not a backer sheet it's called an ink an ink mat so the ink mat uh, I'm really bad at the names of things but hey whatever works works right so I still got the tags on it I leave the tags on my shirt till I wear them uh, so I got a good deal on these uh, only bought two just for myself but uh, so I put the pad the heat pad down I put the shirt on top of the heat pad and then I'm gonna put just a piece of paper between uh, the front of the shirt and the back of the shirt so that the uh, ink doesn't go all the way through and go to the back of the shirt no, I got my so my uh, paper towel I've been using. You can use paper towel. You can use a piece of paper. You can use parchment paper. So I do uh, because it's thick. I do it for about 25-30 seconds, not minutes. That would be bad. So because it doesn't quite fit, uh, the the transfer is a little larger than the heat thing. I'm moving it back and forth. Um, Trying to make sure I get it well heated. Uh, so uh, I like the press because it's heavy and I don't have to stand up and push down. So I'm making sure I, I feel comfortable with how long it's been heating up uh, over the edges and it comes right off. That that uh, paper towel is not stuck to the to the ink so I got it good and dry. So now I'm going to switch it over and I'm going to do the same thing on the inside. That just gives that extra measure, making sure it's heat set real well. Uh, so I've got a bunch of Valentine's projects coming up. Guy things, girl things. So I'm really working this year on trying to get some guy things. Uh, I did the cutest mug for my little nephew and he really liked it. I was so excited. So get in something that's, you know, for the guys working hard at doing that it's not that hard it looks like the whole thing shakes and I put that down there but I didn't put it down that as hard as it looks like it but yeah I'm heating that up rubbing it back and forth making sure I cover it I did not put the paper on there because there was no uh, thing going through there so uh, I couldn't see any ink on the back of it so I went ahead and just risked it. So um, remember to, to share the love. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to wear this one. It looks so cute. Look at that. Love. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Cute. Have a great day, everyone. See, see you soon. Come back and see me. Keep checking on me. <laughs>